Hey, this is Lance from Action Figure Reviews. Uh, just showing you a truck that I built last weekend and uh, should have posted by now. Sorry for the delay. Uh, life's been busy. But uh, this is an RC10 SC 6.4. I'm still waiting for electronics on it. Uh, I've got everything except for the speed control, so I haven't really put it all together yet or as far as the electronics go. Just got the servo sitting in there and everything else is pretty much ready to go. But uh, we'll go over here quickly what the new things uh, that have supposedly changed between this and the uh, previous versions. Um, they added, of course, the 13 millimeter shocks. That's the biggest deal. Um, I, I can tell you and tell you how these feel and try to describe it to you, but until you actually feel the truck with 13 millimeter shocks on it and see how everything just kind of works together and super smooth, man. I mean, it feels a lot more realistic. Uh, I can tell you about it all day, but until you feel it for yourself, you're not going to uh, see how nice those 13 millimeter shocks are. And I'd say that is definitely the biggest reason to upgrade is to get the new shocks. Uh, I'm sure you can retrofit them to the old chassis, so I mean, um, I didn't have the previous version to this, so, but I mean, I've had plenty of 10 scale trucks that had smaller bore, you know, usually 10 and 10 to, or yeah, they're usually 10 millimeter shots, I want to say, and uh, they just, they don't stack up to these 13s, these, these suckers are like buttery, but uh, beyond that, um, they have uh, flat front and rear arms and uh, carbon fiber shock towers included, which Honestly, any team kit should have a uh, carbon fire, fiber shock tower um, already, in my opinion. But nice to know that that's an, a new thing. Um, you can see the kick-ups here. The angles they use for these bumpers are pretty ridiculous. Uh, highly angled steering. I mean, the steering is like probably 20, 20 to 25 degrees, I want to say. But uh, that's supposed to help with bump steer. But you know how bump steer is. They've been making adjustments on these cars for 20 plus years uh, chasing the elusive perfect feel and you're not ever going to get it all you got to do is just really in my opinion stick to the way that you're doing things as long as your cars are running great and just get used to the feel of them because uh, bump steers you can make a thousand little tweaks and every single track and bump is going to be different so anyway yada yada um says that it's got a short short course length aluminum chassis with the yeah 20 that was a 22 degree kick up that we're seeing down there i mean it's it's a lot so uh let's see what else here it uses the b 74.1 two-piece uh rear hubs which are it's basically just slips over the constant velocity drive and then it's a big uh, aluminum hex nut goes over that you can kind of see it on this end but uh from there, uh, they say it has a uh, 1.3 millimeter front and rear roll bars. Now on this kit, I went ahead and put them on. Uh, even in the manual, it said they were not included, but be damned. Uh, this thing came with a, a rear and front roll bars right there. So I tweaked them out as best I could. They definitely seem to work like they actually should. Um, you know, when there's when there's lean, it's it's adjusting on the other side and compensating for that as well. You know, when there's chassis shifting like that going on and up and down, everything's doing what it should do uh, because it has those sway bars installed. So for now, I'm going to keep them, and uh, we'll see what other people are running and what they think of them. But, yeah, don't believe it. They definitely are included. Uh, let's see what else. It has a lay-down stealth transmission, which has, you know, been around since the 90s, late 90s. They just, they're laid down now, which, honestly, I, I'm sure they still work just as great. Let's see, uh, new ball stud mounts and top plates for angled steering system for her improved steering consistency. Yeah, okay, every year something a little different with the steering. Nothing's ever earth shattering. Just, uh, you know, learn how to drive it. It's the best thing you can do. It says updated rear suspension with wider C and D mounts from the B6.4 series. I would assume they're talking about these little, the, adjust, the amount of adjustability you can get out of these right here. Uh, seems pretty impressive. They do give you a lot of, uh, I'm talking about these little, let's see if I can get my finger in there, these little tan and white pieces. They give you a lot of different ones in the kit, so you can really tweak it out the way that you like it. Uh, for the most part, I did everything as the kit recommended as a base baseline, and uh, I'm going to try it out and see what I think, and if I need to adjust something later, we will definitely do that. Let's see, what else? Uh, it's got the aluminum ESC and uh, receiver tray, which mine is out until my uh, ESC finally comes in two weeks later. Thanks, Hobby Town. 
And uh, let's see what else. It's got longer drive shafts for more rear grip. Okay, I'll take your word for that. They definitely are lengthy, as you would expect on any stadium or short course truck. And then let's see here, the B6.4 adjustable height steering bell crank and rack system for optimized bump steer, yada yada. I did not see any height adjustment in there, but I may have just boogied right through it. I kind of set it up as the kit recommended and it looks, everything looks fine. So everything looks good there. And lastly, the biggest, uh, and the last change they mentioned is the one millimeter kingpin offset steering and caster box set for smoother, more predictable steering. So more steering stuff that I didn't even notice. But I mean, as steering goes, I mean, gosh, do they not have it worked out by now? 30 years? I mean, everything feels great. Everything's on bearings. Everything feels good. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you could use aluminum parts to strengthen things up, but for now, it it's, it's, uh, feels a lot more solid than any Traxxas I've ever had. So uh, that's pretty much it, though, in a nutshell. Let me show you this angle here. It's really, those 13 millimeter shocks are the, the big difference. Very nice. Lots of. And I've got 35 uh, fluid up front and 30 in the rear, just as a starting point. Big bumpers, if you can run it in the banger class and get all kinds of run into and it's not gonna mess up your car. But that's pretty much it. That's the first look at the RC10 SC 6.4 uh, that just came out uh, in the middle of June, 2023. I've got a, uh, a T6.4 as well that I just did an unboxing for. So give me a few days and I'll have that assembled to this point as well. Maybe have all my electronics in by then. And uh, we can actually get some footage jumping it around at the local high school. So uh, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it and have yourself a great evening.